godmother Wanda, Suzanne Blakesley. Bring her on up, Suzanne Blakesley. Hi, Suzanne. By the way, Suzanne, before we interview Wanda, Gray, would you do Vicky's voice for us, please? You know, when you guys applaud, it makes us feel better, so applaud for the voices, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, and uh, Suzanne, would you please do a little Wanda for us? What? What voice? Oh, Wanda! Hi! <laughs> Where's Cosmo? Oh, uh, there we go, there we go. And speaking of Cosmo, don't you wish Cosmo was here? I really do. Alright, bring out the man who does not only Timmy's dad, ooh, and Jorgen Von Strangle, and Cosmo, Mr. Darren Norris! <laughs> Darren Norris, robot in disguise. Alright, Darren, do a voice for us, please. What do you want? This is a perfect example of actors needing dialogue written for them. Okay. <laughs> And last, but not, and last but not least, she does every cartoon in the world, and she kind of cares about this one a little bit. We're low on her list, but she does all kinds of voices. She's actually signing stuff here uh, today. I think, great, you're signing stuff too as well. But this woman here does every voice in the world, but I was lucky enough to have her on Fairly Odd Parents for many years. Please give it up. The voice of Timmy Turner and Poof, Tara Strong! Give it up for Tara Strong. Tara Strong. It's okay. It's okay. Yep. 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 No, Tara, stay up there. Just stay up there the whole time. And don't, don't, don't even sit down. That's your spot now. All right, if you guys can applaud for the entire cast of Fairly Odd Parents, they would love that, right? Everybody? Cool. All right, I'm going to hand it over to our friend Josh, who I just met. Josh, go ahead. Well, thank you so much. Uh, after having a show that goes on for 16 years, there are so many episodes and so many great memories. Uh, I want to hear from you guys. And like, what are some of your favorite episodes over the series? Okay, I'll take. I'll, we'll go real quick. I'll tell you my favorite episode. One of my favorite episodes is when uh, Timmy Turner switches voices with Chip Skylark, and he gets Chip's voice. And then uh, Timmy's dad comes in uh, and uh, he goes, "Ooh, aren't you Chip Skylark? Say that." Oh, aren't you Chip Skylark? And I go, I was, and you say? Oh, I was too, in a dream last night, <laughs> and there was peanut butter. <laughs> exactly. That's one of my calls, how about you? Um, the one where Crocker gets uh, to, to join the group and becomes a falcon. Mother, I'm the falcon! <laughs> I'm the falcon! I'm the falcon! Call me! And when he uh, does the scat song. <laughs> My favorite you guys can applaud for everything. We would love if you applaud. Thank you. I'll get the Wayne the Rock Johnson back out here. Okay, uh, Maddie, got a favorite episode? That was the one where Sparky first appeared. Oh, yeah. Went with the litany of all of his owners, and it was like, this is Paul and Tammy, or what, Jane, and then they took me back to the store, and then this is Paul, and he took me back to the store, and then this is, the, and he took me back. <laughs> Inside that we had, we picked the episode that we had the episode with me in it. Um, I love the episode of Vicky when she um, falls in love with Ricky and she's saying goodbye to him and she's like, Ricky, don't lose that number. You don't gotta call nobody else. Send it off with a letter to yourself. Which let me uh, buzz about. That. You know what's funny? Like, everybody here is too young to remember that song. That's all right. It's cool. Suzanne, do you have a favorite episode? Oh, well, it has to be Wanda's Day Off, where uh, she yes. just relaxed while Cosmo was destroying the world. <laughs> Derwin Nordstein, what about you? Well, I do have one favorite episode. <laughs> it's anything with D. Cooper. <laughs> the voice of Dinkleberg. Hi, I'm neighbor. It's me, Dinkleberg. <laughs> how dare you, how dare you donate me your kidney? Sure, I've got another one if you want. <laughs> Tara, my love, what episode did you like the most? Oh, I'm a big fan of, like, the specials. I love Channel Chasers. Yeah, and I also love the Christmas special. It was so cute. And when everybody looks the same, that stuck in my brain for so long. What was that episode called? Too many. When we all wish we looked the same, when I wish everyone was the same. That was called the same game. The same game. That was so good. And Pete 
Yes, I, I mean, it's so nostalgic to hear everyone. It's so making me miss everyone. I was also thinking about Juan Dissimo and Wanda, and their love affair is so hilarious. Carlos, uh, uh, Carlos is the voice of Juan Dissimo. Well, I know you, Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> the first part of your name sounds like my first part of my name. Every time Juan Dissimo, every time Wanda smacks Juan Dissimo, he yells a different Mexican dish. What does he yell? He yells, Enchilada! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. No, that's great. Now, I will be going to you guys in a few moments for some questions, so start thinking of some good questions right now, because the pressure's gonna be on. But before we get to that, uh, we have so many laughs on screen, like, watching the show. Have there been any, like, major fun moments behind the scenes? And please answer with the voice of the characters. Uh, anybody? Fun moments behind the scenes? I mean, well, actually, I think we were recording when uh, Darren was in Hawaii filming a movie, and, uh, he remembered fondly when, uh, as I mentioned before, when Crocker was scatting. And so I left a message and I went, Hey, Darren, I know you're in Hawaii, but just uh, wanted to say, <laughs> And he said it made his week. I'm just watching the cast uh, in general. Just when you realize maybe 15 seasons into it that you're working with all these genius people. So my favorite episode was anytime I wa went in to, and watched everybody at the microphone, I'm like watching a live jam session of the greatest studio musicians in the world. And so that would be my favorite experience of the whole show, just watching other people just excel at what they do. They're awesome. Exactly. Just your mother real quick. I remember uh, Jeff Bennett, I worked with a guy named Jeff Bennett on one episode and it was supposed to be Adam West and I was very, very excited about that and uh, to speak to the amazing talents of these people, um, there was a problem and Adam couldn't do the episode and this guy Jeff Bennett stepped in and did an Adam West that was as good as Adam West and <laughs> it's just absolutely uncanny and, and to get to work with that kind of talent and to do these kind of people was so incredible. Jeff did something like Timmy, it's Catman. <laughs> Butch named Tootie after his actual daughter, because when she was really little they called her Tootie. For, I don't know why. Yeah, she had lots um, of guests. It's anyway, okay. now she's a beautiful woman, but she would come to the sessions when she was little and I got to be Tootie in front of Tootie. And they'd go, oh, Timmy, I love you so much! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, one of the non-funny moments was when I had, Carlos wasn't there, and I had to uh, do a scratch version of Crocker. <laughs> <laughs> I love being humiliated by that. <laughs> My favorite moment with Suzanne was when, uh, Suzanne's always the most demure of everybody, she's always so nice. One time we had this group of Girl Scouts come in, right when they opened the door she yelled the F word really loud. <laughs> And she didn't mean to, but those kids were scarred for life. So Darren. And did you call that a Blakesley from then on? Yeah, we called oh, that a Blakesley. Blakesley. Someone just did a Blakesley. <laughs> no, nope, Blakesley did. No, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, Every Blakesley time I would cuss, Butch would say, oh, great, the orphans are here. <laughs> <laughs> Darren, favorite well, moment. I have, I, have, I have the exact, I have the same answer. It's working with all of these people. It's the, it's the greatest job in the world with the greatest people in the world. Everybody's funny, everybody can sing, everybody can do anything. Uh, what a joy, what a joy to be in this room. And Butch uh, absolutely knows his stuff like nobody else. That's, there's nothing better than that. That's. You got applaud for me, that's cool. I would love that, thank you. And Tara, what was your favorite well, moment? Well, I have so many. Like, we had so much fun behind the scenes. There wasn't a day that we recorded this show that we all didn't laugh. Um, so I'm going to bring up a memory that made us laugh a lot. Um, you know, all of these people do tons of different voices. And I think it was started with Carlos one day. And we, there was, like, an incidental character. And he threw out, like, these amazing impressions. It was five completely distinct voices. And every time Butch was like, no, 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 no. Like, and like how to make the actor feel like completely like they've no idea what they're doing. And so every time from then on Butch. someone did something not great, we'd all go, no, 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 no. What was it you said, Carl, was about his directing style? Butch Hartman, the actor's director. <laughs> if you're not humiliated, you're not working with Butch Hartman. Butch Hartman. <laughs> It's like he gets his best performances out of his actors to be raped and humiliation. Tara, we haven't heard Timmy Turner's voice out of you, I don't think. Is there Timmy Turner? I wish everybody's dreams come true at Stanley's Comic-Con. Oh. <laughs> Not on my watch, Turner! <laughs> Not on mine either, you twerp! <laughs> That's 
fantastic. Now remember, we're here because you guys are awesome and you love the show. So yes. now we want to hear from you. Okay? Yes. So uh, first question right here. What do we got? Shout it out. Yep. So what is the future of you guys 10 years from now? Wow, I think, um, well, we're going to get younger, first of all. Don't we all look great for being like, uh, uh, we look great. We're all going to get younger, and uh, I would just love to keep doing Fairly Odd Parents. Wouldn't you guys love to keep doing yes. that? We'll do a 10-year reunion special in 10 years. We could actually do it now. I want to do Orange is the New Black with Vicky incarcerated, exactly. you know? <laughs> Uh, Here, that's your jumpsuit. He was saying, uh, the, the young man here said, check out my YouTube channel. I did do a video of Fairly Out Parents 10 years later. It's cool to explore what the Fairly Out Parents would do. But if you guys, would you guys want to see a 10 years later special? Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We'll do one for sure. There you go. Who is still another way while they replace your oxygen tank? <laughs> uh, another question. Right here. Nice and loud for me. Who came up with Icky Vicky? What's the story behind that? Me. I did. No. Uh, no. <laughs> it was actually me. I wrote the song and I storyboarded it and gave Gray all the things to say. And uh, so basically me. Just basically me. <laughs> no, yeah, I came up with Vicky. And after he taught her how to sing, he then uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that was me. I wrote the song and I came up with the character. That was me. Yeah. And, but Gray, uh, I, want, I want to tell you guys one thing though. You can, you can write the greatest character in the world, the funniest dialogue, but unless you have an amazing actor like Gray Delisle or anybody else at this table, <laughs> Make it come to life. You cannot have anything. So give it up for our amazing actors. They are incredible. Incredible. Except for Darren. But everybody's great. Uh, Alright, another question. I saw uh, right here. Oh. Here, way on this side. Who do we got? Any questions over here? Oh, you are adorable and you're patient and I love everything about you. What's your question? Yeah. That's Crocker's daughter, by the way. All right, so we have a question. Uh, we, a lot of you play many characters on the show. What are some of your favorite voices that you do on the show? I like actually uh, doing Denzel's mother, because she's, she's just so bad, Julia Child, and she's, she pretends to be really sweet, but she's like, Denzel, you're making me angry. You don't want to make mommy angry. Yes, I know, mother. <laughs> I want you to jump from a bridge on cement. <laughs> so I like doing, I like doing, that's my favorite voice. Okay, when I did Billy Crystal Ball, that was my introduction into, uh, into the Fairly Odd Parents, I think, before Crocker, so that and a uh, one decimal. But I think Denzel's mother is my favorite. Yeah. Thanks, Riley. Uh, do anybody, what about you guys? Anybody have uh, voices that you guys do? Multiple voices? I have one I like. That was the episode was the Fair Bears. The Fair Bears, right? Yeah, and you uh, brought me in for that one. And yep. you, know, you were just like, uh, I think it sound like Snap Trap. <laughs> it was nicer. If you know anybody remembers Tough Puppy. Maddie, and, Maddie was on Tough Puppy. Whoever saw Tough Puppy it before. Snap Trap. It was Snap Trap. And, I used to be from Indian Snap Trap until they canceled the show. <laughs> I got to. Uh, Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and so I came back and I did one of the Fair Bears, and he kind of sounded like Snap Trap, but he was nicer, so he was like, I don't know, his mouth is doing this thing, but it's not a smile. I don't understand. <laughs> Darren, who else do you do on the show? Darren, who do you do? I've always been fond of anti-Cosmo. <laughs> I used to do a voice and uh, do prank calls when I was just a little girl. I would pretend to be the sexy woman that called a man and, and I'd talk to his wife, but I'd be like, Hi, is, uh, you know, I'd call like Mr. and Mrs. Smith or whatever. And I was like, Is uh, Bob Smith there? And the wife would be like, uh, No, who's this? And I was like, Oh, well, you know, just tell him I called. I'm just a friend of his. And it turned into the voice of the Tooth Fairy, so I still use that voice. I had no idea the Tooth Fairy had such a dark past. Anyway. <laughs> Yes. Dark at the root. And Tara, you also do the voice of the Fairly Odd Baby, don't you? <laughs> That's right. He's so cute. All those drawings are so cute. I know. Oh my gosh. Hey, um, all right, let's get someone from like the middle area. Someone that. All right. What's the funniest song you've ever made? What's the funniest song, guys? You know the song? There's Icky Vicky, there's Shiny Teeth and Me, my shiny teeth. Wish you were a day would be Christmas, Jeepers out for a shiny life. It isn't a wish, it isn't a joy, it's a family and friends, are you really a joy? <laughs> Whoa! Wow. She's Jewish and she's singing? 
Christmas song. It was amazing. Awesome. Tom did a director, Butch Hartman. That's <laughs> exactly. Butch Hartman. Uh, what else? What other questions you guys got? From right here. Are you excited? What we got? Yeah. What are we looking for in the next level? Uh, well, I'm just looking for more comedy and more awesome drawings, and we just want to keep going and, and doing me. We, we want to do stuff for the whole family, right, guys? Absolutely. That's what we're doing. We're not I want to see a theatrical feature. The, the, the guy in the Timmy Turner outfit has a question right there. The guy in the pink right. hat. The pink, the pink hat. What's your question? Will we ever see? Will we ever see a full-length Fairly Odd Parents Danny Phantom crossover? You guys want to see that? Yeah. Boy, I didn't see Dan Phantom. I played Sam um, on the show. Dan Phantom. Yeah. Dan Phantom. Dan Phantom. Him all grown up. I want to see that cartoon. Yeah. Graham was actually on Dan Phantom. It's Sam Manson. That's right. Yeah. Love to. Someday we'll love you guys. All right. So we got a few more minutes here. That's uh, right here in the center. Nice and loud. What do we got? Yeah, 16 years. What are some of your main takeaways from uh, the uh, Fairly Odd Parents? Be nice I'll... to Butch and he'll put you on all of his shows. <laughs> <laughs> well, just real fast, we'll put it on the table. Uh, main takeaway was, it's a joy to do what you love, and if you get to do it for a long time, guys, don't ever take it for granted, because it doesn't come around very often. Opportunities are like comments, they don't come around a lot, so uh, grab them all they can. You can go. Yeah, my, my mirror is what I had said before. Just, uh, it is a joy to work with great creators and directors, and to work with such other talented actors. If you get that opportunity, savor it, relish it. It does not come around often, and this show is one of those shows, so thank you. I grew up in Flint, Michigan. I've wanted to do this kind of stuff since I was this little, and I'm here I sit right now. It's absolutely doable. I agree with Butch. Just hang in there, follow you. If you have a dream, follow it, follow it, follow it. And if you agree with Butch, you'll be on the show. Yes. Absolutely, Butch. <laughs> we just had the most fun ever. I, I started doing this show when I was in my early 20s, and I thought that all shows were that much fun, and it wasn't like that. The rest of it. Uh, anyway, but just, yeah, just savor those moments when you have a really great group of people doing some magical stuff. I also started the show in my early 20s. <laughs> Thank you. This is what it did to me. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be sorry. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Uh, what's the takeaway? Hey, you know what? It's, it's, if you can, uh, if your passion and your profession somehow meld, you are so far ahead of the game. Uh, and it is, it's about passion and, uh, and gratitude and, and knowing that you're, uh, you know, everybody gets a heyday. I don't know what yours is, uh, but you can have them over and over and over again. This has been such a crazy great ride and, uh, and the word is just grateful. That's, uh, that's the takeaway is grateful. Yes. Awesome. but also that um, you don't always have to do things the same way for them to succeed. And there's actually no other show I do that's run quite how Butch runs a show. And it's like, we would put our script pages side by side, do each page twice, maybe pick something up and then move on. And it kept the pace so great. And sometimes to save money, they'll bring in a director that has no idea how to talk to actors. And you'll do 10,000 takes and blow out your voice and not have it half as funny as what Butch trusted his actors to do and brought to the table. Um, so just, you know, if something feels different but it feels good, like, I, we're so grateful to have been part of this and I, I carry that all the time when someone's like, can you get us 20 more? I'm like, can you call Butch and ask how to direct? <laughs> <laughs> because he started as an actor so he knows what he wants, you know, he knows what kind of, what he wants. Butch Hartman getting his actors to brag for him. <laughs> The genius of Butch Hartman. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, what, a, what a great way to end on this. Uh, amazing information from amazing people. Guys, just one more time, a big round of applause. Guys, we have, uh, we have Tara and Gray, you're signing things today. You'll be out here signing. I have a booth over there, so just come by. We'd love to talk to you guys, okay? All right, thank you guys for stopping by. Have a great day at the convention.